Sorry, he said it kicked me out for a second. And we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark where it says. So let's start at the bottom of the thermometer and let's go up to 30. So what kind of day, see how the arrow is pointing and there's a line. So what kind of day is 30 degrees? We already said that on the board. And so what kind of day? Cold, so put cold on that line. Okay, you can stop there. So he decided. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go up to 60 degrees. What kind of day would 60 degrees be? A cool day, but cool by the 60. And Christopher, other toys became Pooh's French, Tiger, Power Rabbit, and more. An alien story, the stuffed animal went on many adventures with Christopher. They even they even walk cool day and talk just like people do soon after Ellen wrote the first book. People all over the world wanted to read. Okay, let's go up to eighty degrees. What kind of day would eighty degrees be? Adults warm. So like still read these the tale that Alan A. Manuel wrote of winter Winnie the Pooh and his friends may legs down them, please I had already told you that maybe it gives them ideas to have pretend I've been put your sure legs down okay and then a hundred degrees obviously what kind of day would that be I just wait. Hot day. All right, good. So, so they wrote. He wrote many stories, and his son Christopher would often go on adventures with Winnie inside of the story. So, if you're familiar with the Winnie the Pooh series books, Piglet, uh, Tigger, like all of his friends, that's who wrote them, and that's why he was inspired to write a lot of these stories um, because of his son and his bear. Okay. All right, so that's it, guys. So we're actually finishing this book next week, and we'll move on to our next book. All right, guys, that's it for our morning Zoom. I'll see you guys this afternoon, okay? Bye-bye. All right, go to the back of this page. Yeah, because if it's saying something belongs to him. Yeah, like what an S. It didn't say pools at all? It did. Yeah, because he's using it as a possessive. That's why. Uh, all right, let's go to the back. All right, let's look at our first thermometer. So it's shaded in for us already. So how many degrees would that one be? It's shaded in already. Stop tearing that. How many degrees would it be? How many degrees, like the number? 30. It's 30 degrees, and so what kind of day is it? Cold. It's a cold day. Yeah. All right, so our next one, you're going to shade it in. Shade it into 70. So start from the bottom. Always start shading from the bottom and go up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Mm -hmm. No, you should just left him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the way seven All right, so what kind of day would 70 degrees be? Oh. Oh, I don't know. It's not a warm day. Warm. That'll be a warm day. Okay. All right, you can put your books away. Go ahead and get out your letters book. Oh, can we mean? start? Mm -hmm. Is it not Oh, it's not a ball. Let's get ready. I'm so mad. Why? Like me or bumpy? Can you can you please stop talking? All right, we're on page ninety two. You can go ahead and begin. So if you remember this week in writing, we are learning the difference between can and may. The difference between can and may. No, it says circle the adjective that uh, that describes the underlying noun. All right, so let's get started with number one. All right, write this one correct. You put either can or may inside of it. Tim can hit the ball or Tim may hit the ball? Tim can hit the ball or Tim may hit the ball? You can't say it out loud, so if you just say the answer. Tim. Everybody already know what it is. Now let's say you just want to tell you the answer. What, what, take that off. I'm picking this stuff all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Maybe look your way. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to you to pick all that up. I 
It doesn't have the rest of this. All right. So, okay. So, which how should this one be written for at Kendall? It doesn't have the rest on number two. Say it again. Oh, capitalize my T. Hold on. Capitalize T for Tim. And then can or may. Can. And how do I finish it? But Tim can hit the ball. All right, number two. Okay, is it can or may we help with dinner? And this is a question sentence. Can or may we help with dinner? Can or may we help with dinner? 